Ready. You ready to fight? All right, here we go. Capacity crowd on hand tonight to see Amanda Nunes take on Holly Holm. Your thoughts on how Holly's going to approach the world beater that is Amanda Nunes? Holly has to get on her bicycle. She has to make sure that she's out of range. She manages space and distance and fighting behind those quick combinations when she darts in and she darts out. As long as she's out, she does not run the risk of Amanda landing one of those big overhand rights that she's now known for. Way to hide that leg kick. Liver kick. I think she won. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? With conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass her full guard right into half guard. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing, trying to pass to get good ground to call off. And there comes the separation now. Oh, big punch land. So the straight punch is there for her. Beautifully split the guard on that attempt. Even though her opponent's hands were up, she threw it right down the middle and landed exactly where she intended it to. Well-placed kick there by the Preacher's Dog. Oh, she put everything into that leg kick. She threw her entire body into that kick, and you see the damage that is causing her opponent. Right over there, I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now. That's taking such a massive head kick. Oh! There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. 45 seconds to go here in round one. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Big punch land. Ooh. Continue. Look, you can see it. Look, she's out of That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, round two. Gonna shut your body off. Big punch lands through the middle. Nunez gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown hit? When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. I mean, that is a big. Shot to the head. I cannot believe she still stands. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 36 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. And landing with 55% accuracy against Holly Holm. Nunes has got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just missed with the left there. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. 
Just over two minutes now to go in round two. <laughs> Circling to her right. Her opponent sees star. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's gonna finish the night. Just unable to quite find that range. Under a minute to go. Five seconds remain in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. Oh! 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 Seconds winding down in round two. Oh! What a round! Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Ooh, what a punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Nice body right on the elbow. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the Oh, she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad. Grounded pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. She's doing that time. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground stages, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Well, the full arsenal on display here. 78 total strikes. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. All right, so there's that kick to the leg, and you can be sure she's going to go back to the well with that. She's beating up that lead leg, dominating it, slowing down her opponent. Look for her to continue doing that same thing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Ten seconds to go. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Ready. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the... Oh! Huge right hand! to send a message to the rest of this division.
decision. That is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long. And I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And still the hunted at 135 pounds. How good is this women's bantamweight champion? Up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Ready. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match? Oh! oh, nice jab. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Usman gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Knee to the body. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And he landed the right hand there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Collar tie. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jorge Gabriel Masvidal. 
So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, he got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked to the octagon with him were sure that he would win this fight. All you need is your army. You're the warriors on the front line. And that group of warriors knew that they could get the job done. They did, and now he's the UFC champion. for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World between Israel Adesanya and Paolo Costa. closer distance. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight oh. and so accurate. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Sonya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long for that one appeared to stun him. He's a trouble. She's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Adesanya gets up and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. So we pull up the numbers here, 28. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and that is it. The referee has seen it off, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glove. I mean, a competitive fight 
that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world. So how about this, DC? We have a new UFC middleweight champion, and in this era of the 185ers, this division has never been stronger. They're all chasing a new man tonight. One of the toughest divisions in the entire UFC, and right now, he sits atop it. Congratulations to a fantastic fighter. Up for the UFC light heavyweight division title. in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Looking to land the leg kick now. Another punch lands. Another punch lands. He's doing everything with his hands. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. This combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. You don't know when that leg kicks up. Beautiful combination there by Wahovic. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Can't take many of those. Better check. Oh, there is lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more fight to end the night. Unable to land the head kick there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So 28 total strikes have already landed for Jan Bohovic. Oh, straight right. Real quick leg kick. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. 
He's having his way with him here. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Five minutes in the books. Round two is underway. Nice leg kick. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. Oh, he's just hurting, he's just hurting. we got to whip this hip into that kick. Wachowicz gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. He's hurt. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Wachowicz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Try to establish that. Throwing with authority. Big kick lands. Let's get that takedown and win the Leg round. kick checked nicely by Blahovic. Oh. Slips the left hand. to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, the king of the 205ers, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and no better way to get the job done than he did tonight by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Ron Wachowicz. And still UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Big effort out of him tonight. And the king and the standard upon which all other 205 pounders of the judge. In the glamour division of the company, the 205 pound weight class, he is the champ, he is the standard bearer, he is the bar at which everyone is judged. Congratulations to the champ. It's a heavyweight championship showdown between Francis Ngannou and Stipe Miocic.
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really... Oh, oh he's hurt fast. Looks like it did start him a little bit. Back to the feet. Dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis and Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put the smile on my face. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds in the very first round. He's going to win it by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Steve is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was gonna be the result and we got a new champion. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.